This is a video response to Barry Aldrich's Places You'd Like to Travel. It's known by everyone that the place that I'd really love to visit again is Britain. I've often amazed at how much I've seen of the United States and how little. I don't know if I've shared this or not, but you know, the minute I set foot on British soil, it wasn't like I was visiting. It's like I had been there forever. I've only really traveled to one foreign country and it was an English speaking country. Look what I just found on the ground. It's a bird's nest. Actually, I think it's a toilet. There's a part of me that thinks that I really need to kind of try to speak another language if I'm going to visit some place that doesn't speak English. You undergo a little more scrutiny if you travel alone. So it's my first trip to Britain and I'm at the passport desk and the guy's looking at the passport looking at me. He said, well, Mr. Elder, uh, where will you be visiting? I'm going to Norwich. What direction is that from here? It's two hours north by rail. Welcome and enjoy your stay. Thank you very much. I believe I need to change my clothing now. Even suggesting that I might try to speak another language. I, I mean, I can barely speak English. You know that. I've never been to Canada. As far north as I've been is New York. As far south as I've been in America is Miami. I have been to Hope Town in the Bahamas. I tell you who's really done it right is my name is Chris Yeo. He's in the Scouts and so far in the short time that I've known him he's been to China and Kenya. Victoria Station is one of my favorite places in the world. Out west I've been to Denver several times. Went to Pueblo. That's about as far west as I've gone. And now because of YouTube, because I know so many people from there, there are all kinds of places I'd like to visit. I would love to go to Canada. I'm afraid if I go to Canada, I may not leave. I remember my family, we drove from Georgia to New York. And while we're speaking of travel, in many ways, we visit each other on a daily basis on YouTube and on Twitter and on Skype. I would be drunk. I'll tell you where I need to go is Allie and Chris and I have never met and we're in a collaboration together. I, I think Allie lives in Pepto-Bismol. I think California would be a cool place to visit. Chris lives in a town called Crustacean. My aunt and uncle used to live on Huntington Beach. Oh yeah, I got all these photographs. There's a picture of me eating. Sometimes it's like a game to me. I like to try to guess where I think Chris is going to go next with his scouts. I love me some water. I'm so impressed with what scouting does, and especially when it comes to going to different parts of the world and becoming involved and helping to make other places better. Baltimore, Maryland. I have gone to Baltimore, Maryland, and several times to Washington, D.C. I love Washington, D.C. And I think I know what poor third world nation Chris and the Scouts are going to be visiting next year. They can really be a help to all of us in Georgia. This is Anne Boleyn's house. That's Jack. The only time I've ever seen anybody get sick on a plane was when we were going up to Washington, D.C. and we were doing that bank as you go into Ronald Reagan Airport. <coughs> that was a burp. Would you like some chips to go with that dip though? <laughs> 